Hello, my name is Alan Prost and I'm introducing you to VR 360 video using the Nikon um, 360 camera. And I think it's got a lot of possibilities for us using this here at SAIT and in the simulation lab. So what's amazing about this 360 camera, follow me around here, is that we can go all the way around our patient so I can um, see all aspects of a patient care. All right. So I can walk right around our patient, right from the head, right down here to the foot of the patient, and you can follow me all the way around. Now right here, we've got the tripod, so that's a little bit of an inconvenience. All right. And as you can see, I can reach underneath my patient here, or over top of the patient, and you can follow everything that's going on around the patient in real time. So what's interesting about this is we may be able to use this to review what's happened in the simulation lab. So when you've gone through a simulation scenario such as um, treating a patient in respiratory failure and initiating the ventilator, things like that, we can watch that later on and learn from our group's participation in the simulation lab. So what I'm proposing is that we use and we record the 360 VR videos right here in our labs and what we're going to do with that information is we're going to um, use it to learn from. So as a student you can watch your scenario later on or you can watch other students scenarios who maybe used um, had a totally different kind of patient. So you might add a scenario where you were assisting with intubation. Another student might have been assisting with putting in a thoracic drainage unit or suctioning a patient and you would be able to watch that and learn at home in your own time watching the video. So that's the plan and we need a couple of things to be able to make that happen. I need you to consent to participating in the labs and allowing us to videotape them. And that means that you and your colleagues will be able to watch the videos and learn from them. So you need to be able to be comfortable sharing those videos. So we've set up some specific rules for video use. All right? And that's going to be outlined for us in your consent forms. All right. So um, right now we're just doing this as a pilot project to study the effects of using VR 360 video and see if it's effective for you as a student to encourage you to review your simulation experiences. And the nice thing is you can zip through sections. You don't have to watch every part of it. Um, you'll be able to see the debrief, um, review those golden nuggets that you've learned during the scenario. So I think there's a lot of potential to use VR360. It's easy to use. It's quick. Um, we can watch the videos back later. We can scrub through sections of them. You can even um, watch other people's scenarios who you may not have participated in and learn from their efforts and their interactions with the patient as well. So I think it opens up for us as instructors and students a lot of different possibilities. So I'm hoping you'll review the consent form and sign on so that we can uh, start using this as a pilot project. And our goal is to determine if VR 360 is good, both a good learning tool for you as a student and, is a, uh, and can be easily implemented with faculty so that they can easily record and share the videos with you. All right? So it's got to be effective, it's got to be easy, it's got to be quick, and we're going to determine with this short study if those are possible. So thank you for watching the short video. Take a moment and look around our simulation lab, and uh, I'll be seeing you in class.